out here in the jungle, ready to take a trek through Africa. See all sorts of lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! All right guys, just kidding, obviously. We're at the Oxbow Trail, getting ready to walk through the trails. Um, this is our first attempt at uh, vlogging. I'm not sure where this is gonna go, but. Let's do it. So, like everyone else, uh, we've been bored in the house because of the quarantine and trying to find something to do. And we thought, what better way than to come out to a trail, uh, experience some nature, God's creation. Get some cardio in, maybe. Not about that life. Um, but <laughs> maybe some unintentional cardio if like, a, an alligator comes by. If, a, if an alligator comes by, then we'll do some cardio. Um, I'll do enough cardio to get away from that thing. Um, we get a zigzag. I might, line. I might climb a tree for the first time in my, in my adult life. Um, but be fun. we know a lot of you guys have struggled with the quarantine too. Um, this is just one beautiful way that we've had to, uh, I don't know, kind of get through it. So. Uh, let us know in the comments what you guys have been doing. Uh, what have you guys done to uh, pass your quarantine time? Keep yourself sane. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here walking around Oxbow Center and going through the trails and, you know, just admiring the different um, plants and views that we're seeing. And it just, there's some scripture that comes to mind. Um, simply Genesis 1-1, let's start there, where it says God created the heavens and the earth. Like we look around, around us, like you can instantly just look to the left or to the right. And I probably did that backwards, but don't judge me. Um, but you just look around and simply can see how beautiful these different things that the Lord created. Like there has to be, obviously, evidently, somebody out there who created um, the heavens and the earth and everything around us. Like, and just, I encourage you, go out and go for a walk or go do something outside and admire what the Lord has done. The sign that we just passed said that there's otters this way. If you know me, you know otter is my favorite animal in the world. Why do you ask that? Well, that's an utterly ridic ridiculous question, for one. But they are the only mammal that uh, mates for life, and they hold hands at night with their mates so they don't drift away from each other. The most romantic animal. I think I was an otter in a past life. It's off to the trails we go. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. So Christy just talked about Genesis 1-1. Uh, there's another verse that comes to mind and that's Psalm 104 verse 24, which says this, How many are your works, Lord? In wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Uh, I think it's beautiful that I look around and I don't know any of what these are called, right? We got water, we got trees, we got plants, uh, we've got fish jumping, we've got, um, I was hoping to see some otters, no such luck yet. Um, but I just think it's beautiful. Uh, the verse before talked about uh, God creating everything. And now we're talking about how he made them uh, numerous, he made them plentiful, and he made them beautiful. I encourage you guys to, um, I don't know, get out to nature, uh, see God's beauty, see God's creation. Uh, it's worth praising him for. Uh, it's worth worshiping him for. Uh, God has done amazing things in the world right around us. And I think it'd be a shame to not spend this time to uh, really unplug and plug into what God has done around us.
if you find this video, it's likely that we've been eaten by otters. Or more likely, probably alligators. Thanks. for what it feels like days because literally days it misread that map but i mean who needs maps anyways so without using the map we had to find our way back and now our repercussion is that we just keep walking and walking and walking and at this point it seems like there's no end will we ever find my car nobody knows so after days and days of walking through these trails, we finally made it back to civilization. It was like an hour and a half. Really? I mean, we're sweaty like it was days. I think my hat, you could tell. Yeah. It's, it's hot. But we made it. I encourage you guys to get out, get some sun, get some nature. Worth it. It's totally worth it. Till next time. See ya. Later.